When I was young, I hated school. No, all the children, they love school. It's only me. I'm the only one in the world who didn't like school. I didn't like the teachers. I didn't like what they're teaching. And especially, I didn't like that they don't teach me the things that I wanted to know. They were teaching me the things that the government wanted me to know. You see, I went to my dad. By the way, he's 100 years old. He's cute. He's still on Instagram and Facebook all day long, you know, YouTube. He's a cool guy. He was a teacher, an amazing teacher. Until today, he walks in the streets because he's 180 years old. People say, hello, my teacher. And my dad told me that if I don't like school, I shouldn't go to school. School should not be a punishment. School is a place when you learn, you explore, you learn to understand, you learn to implement knowledge. And they told me, it's fine. You don't have to. You know what you can do instead? I'll take you to the library, the local library in my old, you know, in my old, you know, little town. He took me to the library a couple of times and he just showed me how to read books. But you need to learn how to study, not even how to learn. For my father, study was different. How to implement the knowledge and how to use thinking when you read. Because most people, they don't use thinking when they read. They memorize. They don't think. It's not the same. And my dad told me that if I want to study something, I should take a book. And in the book there are chapters. And you go to chapter one. And you decide the subject that you want to study. Just one subject. By the way, I studied, you know, philosophy when I was 10 years old. So assuming we take philosophy and you take the book and you open chapter one and there's a paragraph number one and there's a sentence number one and you read the sentence. Reading is not thinking. Imagination can be used. Yes, not good enough. So my dad told me you read the sentence. You write the question that arises in your mind about that sentence. It could be any question. It's not a test. You're, you're not reading it for a test. So you can write any questions that comes to your mind because of that sentence. And you answer the question. Short question, short answer. The next sentence. Short question, short answer. Next short short next short short next short short again and what happens that suddenly there's a picture in the brain the picture that understands the materials and how it relates to other subject that i was questioning and answering whether the, the answer was right or wrong who cared as long as i was thinking finding my own answers within my own questions so the first book you read takes you a month, but you really, really, really understand. You can give lectures about it. And at home, my dad told me all, all the time, what have you learned today? And I was giving a lecture. That's what I do now, isn't it? I was trained to do that, to explain what I know, whether to my boss, to myself, to my kids. So I can express myself because I have a deep understanding from learning one page in a book. And then when you share the knowledge, you learn even further because people might ask you questions about it. So I gave a lecture in the evening about the book I was reading that day. And I was there in the library, sometimes eight to nine hours per day. The smell of the books, mm, amazing, quiet, furniture, Lots of books. What an amazing place to be. It does not have the look and the smell of an iPad, I'm telling you. Now, you learn the books, you give a lecture at home. So my, they told me, what have you learned today? What did you study? And I explained. And then you used to ask me, how do you feel about it? Because I was excited and questioning many things, I shared what I feel. And then he used to ask me, so what have you learned from 
the learning today? What is your insight? How would you use it tomorrow morning? And then, after reading a whole book for a whole month, the second book, I needed to read only 90% of the book because some of the things have been written on the first book. And then on the third book, I had to read only 80% of the book because some of the things were written on the first and the second book. When I got to the last book, it took me 10% of the time to read the book because 90% I've already known. I was knowledgeable and I was just taking into the last parts of the puzzle to understand philosophy or any other subject. So I suggest sit with the children, read together, ask together, discuss and show what you know. Good luck.